elle débute euh, ici pour le foncier, mais en Europe, mais aussi euh, <coughs> ça fait plusieurs années qu'avec nos amis là, on, on fait des actions à l'occasion de, de, de l'Assemblée Générale de Bolloré, entre autres, pour dénoncer un petit peu les pratiques de Bolloré, qui est quand même à, il y a un petit peu à 403 000 hectares dans le monde de, de terre accaparée, quoi. On met des luttes pour les droits des paysans et pour, euh, contre l'accaparement de terre et pour l'agriculture paysanne, contre la déforestation, qui sont tous les thèmes qu'on verra dans le film. Donc la REACT se concentre vraiment sur la, la lutte contre les abus des multinationales. Et donc c'est dans ce cadre-là qu'on a été en contact avec les, euh, les riverains, les communautés locales de différents pays affectés par euh, les accaparements de terre du groupe Bolloré euh, via le groupe Sofi. Euh, là, le but est vraiment de regarder plus en détail. Donc, il y a d'abord le film de Anne-Laure Poré, qui a été fait euh, il y a quelques années, et sur justement la communauté du Nombre au Cambodge. Euh, et après avoir le témoignage de Nett, donc, qui vient de cette communauté-là, qui est le porte-parole de l'association BIPA, donc euh, l'association vraiment de la communauté du Nombre là-bas, qui pourra nous raconter mieux un peu la situation actuelle, euh, leurs différentes luttes, les, les, les combats qu'ils ont menés, euh, les difficultés aussi qu'ils ont aujourd'hui. Uh, and a bit of perspective. So this is our situation in Cambodia, and especially indigenous people where we are. Yeah, we face a lot of problems there since uh, 2008. At the beginning, people was try hard to complain to the company, try hard to complain to the authority about what is happening, and uh, because uh, uh, they take the land of, of, of us. The people, sometimes they are violence between the company and uh, the population. And sometimes they, the population, they burn their bulldozer and so on. But the, uh, the problem cannot find a solution, it's still there. Yes, in our place, is uh, in Mudukiri, uh, there are not only, yeah, there are many companies uh, that they get the land concession from the government. So the Chinese company, uh, Vietnamese company, uh, Korean company, uh, also uh, European company there, and and they are all like they do plantation. So most of them are rubber plantation, and they are a lot like in in total maybe around two million hectare of the land have been put, uh, taken by them, uh, those company. So these are uh, not only in Nukiri, also in Prebihi, Ratanakiri, Stantreng, and other places. But most of them are in our indigenous people's uh, uh, land. So indigenous people in Cambodia, they are Hunong and several groups. And yeah, it's, it's, uh, we are affected a lot by this big uh, corporation company uh, there. Uh, struggle we, uh, we used to complain, we, we don't get anything. We get back a very little, small, small, but and then people, they give up a lot. And then now people, this family, a few family, uh, they move from their place and then try to go very far uh, from their village to find the land in the mountain very far. That's why they try to go to very far uh, to make their life. Between us and with the, also with the European company, is called Sokin. A long time, uh, we confronted, try to uh, find solution, so there is, until now, there are not so any solution have been improved. So it's now, it's a, uh, mm. most of us, we lost, uh, we lost the land, and there's still many people uh, not get back, back the land, and yeah, of course, uh, they promise uh, about uh, uh, to keep back or something like that, but uh, nothing happened until now. Yeah, before we try to to, to find a solution and negotiation with them. And then it seemed like they opened the negotiation until uh, two years ago. And then after that, is uh, negotiation is only promise and nothing is given back to, to the people. And, and they all just uh, say yes, 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 and delay and delay. And in fact, they don't want to give the land back to people. For the community, until now, we have a lot of problems. We lose the land. Of course, our indigenous people, we depend on the land. Land is very important for us and for living, agriculture, for to raise animals, for everything. And also, land is very related to our 
uh, identity for indigenous people. So related to the uh, the way we, we believe, practice of spirit belief. Mm -hmm. So today uh, we lost this, and then we also lost our identity. We also lost our uh, spiritual practice, and also of course we lost something to to do agriculture. So we used to do agriculture like a traditional agriculture. So now is the land is all taken by those companies. Yeah, to practice this uh, agriculture that we used to experience a lot, you know, some thousand years ago, the way we do. And this is not anymore that we can do that because we cannot move, you know, because the land are most are taken. Some are still have one hectare, some are still have half hectare. And then to grow in the same land, in the same plot for two, three years, is not anymore uh, fertilized, you not know, to grow right, so we cannot grow. And then some people, they cannot find a solution how to do that, to deal with these issues. So this is another problem we have. And some people, uh, they just uh, ask advice from the other people and who has no experience how to do that also. And they say, okay, you can use chemical and so on. They put a lot of chemical, but they have no idea on, on this. And they put, and then the first year will be a little bit good, and then next year, it, the land is like kill the land. And some people just sell out the land. You know? So this is another problem we have after this uh, big plantation. Uh, we try to find this, this solution. You know? Until now, we have not a good solution. Uh, before, we have dialogue, direct dialogue between uh, community to the company. You know? In since 2009 until 2011 or uh, 13, we have the community and together and then we go to the company and also we go to the authority something like that. So at the time, yeah, of course, we it's very hard and of course we get something back, we, we have some, some land back and then they give us an uh, option, like they give uh, two, three options, like a, if you want, like a, which option you take, compensation or you want to take a rubber plant, a rubber uh, family, uh, uh, joint project with them or relocation you know? and then at that time of course most of uh, first people they take the relocation and rubber family and then after that because this is very they delay very long time to, to have this and then people think that would be uh, the company they don't want to, to give us because they're just saying and then people, people turn to take the uh, compensation as the money so like in the, in, in the film, you now they say, okay, uh, like one hectare, they just give $200. Um, but of course, still many people uh, still their land inside the concession, not taken, not, uh, they didn't take compensation, not uh, rubber family, they didn't take and they didn't take relocation. Nearly 300 family there, still their land lost inside the concession, struggling a lot. And then we, uh, we joined with the uh, network with uh, uh, other people in Africa and together and then we come for the, uh, yeah, for the negotiation in Paris in 2014. If I'm right, mm -hmm. there were some actions uh, in 2008 to open this dialogue. Can you tell us a bit more about that? So people, they, what they did together and go to the company, like a demonstration and what they, what they want and then ask the company direct. And then we, we join the uh, affective community in Africa. Okay, we join the human women together. We ask about the two, two open dialogue, the real dialogue between the uh, company and with the local people. And we ask about the, uh, to find a solution and stop the, uh, taking the land and find a solution to the, those people who lost, who still uh, get their farm still in, inside the company. Uh, the third was, I think, we asked to compensate about, about the, to the people, to the local people, about the, like a development or something like a infrastructure to the local people, I think. And then the fourth, we asked to respect the environment or check the environment uh, impact by the company, pollution and something like that. In Cambodia, not easy to agree and then force them many times. Uh, then they agree to open dialogue. And then we, uh, we build uh, together uh, with the 
community and with the company, with the authority, we build a, a platform as the tripartite platform. And then we start to dialogue as a tripartite with a representative from the local, local people and from the company and from the authority and sit together and find a solution. Yeah, they start to measure the land, those about 300 people who lost inside, inside the uh, plantation and so on. Until 2017, is the block again because uh, they don't want to give the land back. And then they, but uh, it's, uh, it's look like it's, uh, the Sokwin is, uh, they want to talk with, uh, with other NGO uh, instead of us because other NGO also, uh, they want to do, uh, to work on this case and they want to be the independent mediation, what they say. Since they take this uh, mediation, so everything is uh, like confidentiality, they say. They cannot tell what is happening, happening uh, even uh, to the population there, they don't know what is happening, who, going on. So everything is just blocked. I, I, I said I am the victim. And then said, no, no, it's uh, just wait, just wait. And then it's now take about two years and nothing happened. About the independent mediation, they also choose the representative of the villages. And then when we go to us, and they said, we cannot tell because the mediation tell us that if we tell to people, we are the responsible and we will be, we will be in jail. So we don't want to tell.